Here we are once again in the angler. I thought I would do hopefully a shorter stream, do a bit of fishing in here. And uh, I've been doing a bit of science in the game actually, just like I do in Way of the Hunter. But uh, there isn't a whole lot of science really to do, but I figured out a few ways of doing some really good fish fights. So I thought I would do that. I got a little mission in the corner here. Catch a gold rank largemouth bass. And apparently, uh, this is the spot to do it. I ran up here in the north of the map. And that is what my goal is. So I thought I'd hit the live stream button, see who would show up tonight. Uh, catch up on a few people that have swung by before playing the angler. See how they're doing in it. I'm currently level 21. Got all sorts of different gear. Trying to sort it out. Uh, but what now? I'm trying to actually figure out. Can you get a boat in here? Because uh, I was catching largemouth bass here. Right off of this little dock. And this rock was getting in the way. The fish were like swimming up against it and snapping the line. There's one jumping out there right now. Uh, so is there a way to get a boat here? Can you can you ride down the the waterfall there, or do you have to come from this way? Maybe. So I'm kind of curious here, because this is a waterfall here. Maybe you can't get a boat here. I kind of want to try. Um, so there's probably a boat thing back here. Hey, Dad Psycho, how you doing? Been doing much fishing? Uh, let's see here. I gotta bounce over to the stream window for a second, make sure everything's okay here. Just doing a little quiet stream in here, a little bit, a little bit of fishing. See who pops in. Well, that's all looking good here. So where is a place to get a boat? Can you get a boat here? And then see if I can ride down the uh, waterfall. No, you can't, eh? I guess they really made it so you can't get a boat in this location. Right? Because there's this bridge you can't get under. Alright, they're really going to limit you then. And... Because there probably isn't a boat dock up here, right? Let's just fly over here real quick and check. Don't know the map that well yet. So we got vehicles. Okay, so here's... Boat. Wait, where am I? Yeah, but I'm not... Okay, so that's that way, but I need to go this way. Yeah, there's no way to do it. Darn. Okay. No problem. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. I'll try and dodge that rock, though. Back here. Hey, RD. Welcome to the stream. You've been really enjoying it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's definitely a good game for a nice change of pace. I've uh, figured out a few things I can do with the fish fighting. Makes uh, the fish fighting a little bit better. So we're going to get into some of that. Actually, I have a video set in the Angler coming out on Monday, I think, which goes over some of the science I've been doing. Uh, but now i got to get back to uh, that bass lake here. After some gold large no, bass, I don't think I've gotten a gold one yet. So I'm targeting silver ones. In hopes that a gold one will appear. I think I've a cast just for gold. I won't get anything. Figured I'd try it here. And if anyone knows how to get a boat into this little lake, I would like to know. I uh, my favorite is fishing from the boat. You can kind of park it wherever you need it, right? Okay, so this is wants me to be, but I do not like this dock because this rock is in front of it. It's causing me to lose fish, but it wants me to be here. And they seem to be up there, so if I go over here, maybe go over by this log, I'll be able to cast out far enough. I don't bring a whole lot of equipment with me uh, when I'm fishing in the game. I like to keep, keep it kind of simple, keep it targeted. I feel, I feel like I get 
overwhelmed if I grab too many things. <laughs> I got all these equipment slots, but I only only bring, ever bring a couple of rods with me. Uh, but I got this X86 uh, Marksman, this heavy rod. Now I'm in kilograms actually, because I was doing science on on some of this, and it's a lot easier to do it with a the solid numbers. It seems to me that they made the game all in metric, and then right at the end they put the conversion in, because <laughs> uh, in the Imperial it's all messy. Uh, but what do I got going on here? I got plenty powerful line. And I'm going to have no problem with this reel. With it. Um, yeah, let's just try that. The popper is their preferred. Number five aims for the silver. At least I believe it does. So I'm already set up for it, actually. So let's just... Oh, there's the fish jumping up over there. Let's throw it out here. And I gotta get it out. Right out in the middle, I find's best. I'll correct my volume here again so I can hear. And then I do forget, I think. I think it was twitching. I'm twitching for a popper. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, there's a jumper to my left. We'll cast out there a second. And I also find actually reeling in slow is better. Because uh, too many times I've had the lure we almost to me. And I can see the fish chasing it. Um, so maybe you, you can slow down when they're chasing it. Because if you stop, they don't bite because the little icon goes out. Uh, we'll just see what we, what we do here. Alright, so I cast a little. I was reeling a little too fast there. Let's try over here. And we'll keep the jigging up. So, just gonna do some... some calm fishing for a little while. Aiming at, you know, an hour, an hour and a half. Because I always go long. Now there was some bubbles right after this. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Can you focus on it? No, you can't. They're jumping all over the place. But if they're bronze, they're not gonna. They're not gonna grab this. Only silver and up should they get. See any fish there? Let me double check. I think it is. Uh, I think it is twitching, right? Yeah. All right. There was definitely a fish jumping over this direction. Can't quite cast out too too far. Thirty meters is only about a hundred feet. We'll try a few more here. Hopefully there's a silver bass around here somewhere. That way we know there could be a chance for a gold. Most of the time I've been float fishing. Float fishing is my favorite in the game. I just stick the minnow on it and change the, the hook size. It's nice to keep things uh, consistent in the game while you're fishing around, just to sort of get a feel for the different areas. If you keep changing things up, I find it sort of hard to figure out times of days and what fish bite, so I typically use just use minnows and mess around with that way. But uh, this popper here is apparently the preferred lure. But I could switch back to minnows here. I actually want to get casting out further than that, but I can't quite... I don't think I have a setup that can do it. And we'll do a few more. Definitely fishing. Not quite catching at the moment. Yeah, see, I, I'm trying to think. I had one... Trying to think where I had the other one bite. 
earlier on in the day I was out here and I'm pretty sure it was straight out there. Maybe I'll go back to that dock, but I don't like that rock. So not much luck there. Let's try this dock. I wonder if I can steer the fish around this rock. Cause I, yeah, I was out here and I, I cast it in that direction. And I, I at least had a silver on the line. I really wish you could get a... Get a boat in here. I guess I could do two times, and then watch and see if anything bites, and then slow it down to one times, maybe. Watch and see if anything chases it. And if nothing happens, I might actually switch back to the float, but I don't think I brought it with me. Hmm, let's try it out here. There's definitely fish jumping, but they're all they're all gonna be too small for this hook. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this is where I've been working on kind of the fish fighting kind of thing. Um let me see now. So he's taking the line out there. He's pretty far out there actually. Yeah, we're going to need to increase the drag a little bit. So I've been noticing uh, when I've been watching other people uh, doing the fishing, uh, everybody can't seem to raise their drag any more than 30 or 40 percent and it breaks the line. Uh, so I've been messing around with that because I want the full the full range of the drag uh, to be able to use it here. Uh, so it the secret is in mixing the correct reel with the line. It's usually a lesser reel that helps. Uh, but I probably won't get it too much into the stream because it's I'm talking about it in the video on Monday. Uh, but essentially I can keep increasing my drag. I'm going up to 60%, 70%. Like I could really crank it and I have no um, no threat of breaking the line. Uh, these days on the setup I've been Okay, I keep away from the rock here. I've been making it so I can't break the line unless I've been spooled. So that's how I find it. It's the best way to do it for a best or for a good fish fight, anyways. What do we get? It must be at least a silver. Oh, gold! There we go. <laughs> All right, little gold little thing there. Two point four kilograms. Really about a five pound. Oh, it's a smallmouth bass. I thought I was looking for a largemouth bass. Oh, I am looking for a largemouth. Darn, I got the wrong one then. Alright. I don't know how you target largemouth instead of smallmouth, though. I think both, both of them just bite everything. Yeah, I need a largemouth bass. Alright. Well, I'm going to mark it here. It's not really a secret that this is uh, a bass lake here, though. But I'll put it in, in anyways. We'll put a gold one... And we'll set the label to smallmouth bass. There we go. And let's try out this way. So I should actually be able to lighten my setup a little bit. Since that was a fairly easy fight. So I might do that. I might go uh, mess around with the setup a little bit more. I'm not sure I can get any more casting distance out, though. So I'll keep it on speed 2, unless I... or until I see something chasing it. And then I'll slow it down. See, there's a little panfish or something, or early small bass, bass jumping up right in front of me. Maybe slow it down right at the end. Just in case something's chasing it. No. Yeah, see, they're they're right out there. I know they're out there. But this rock really bothers me. Let's try it out here. Yeah, that <laughs> just doesn't go far enough. 
All you can really do is jig this popper, or twitch this popper, and watch for anything coming after it. There's a jumper to the left. Lots of fish jumping out of here, but I think uh, they're all too small. I'll slow it down at the end just in case something's tracking it. I've had that a lot, where I'll pull it out of the water before they bite it. Okay, nothing there. And definitely changing locations help too, different areas. Let's see what happens here. We'll be doing the angler bit tonight, and I still plan on doing Way of the Hunter tomorrow night. A lot of uh, the angler stuff is quieted down. The Way of the Hunter stuff's quieted down. It's one of those quieter times on YouTube at the moment. For these games, anyways. Yep. Give another try here. Found one smallmouth bass in here, anyways. Oh, I see one there, but I don't know if it's tracking the popper or not. He's gonna run out of time, though. Nope. Oh, well. Yeah, I usually uh, fish with the smaller hooks. Just so you get more action all the time, but you're pulling in uh, bronzes all the time. And I really need a gold. Try again here. I guess there's no, is there any way to get to the other side? I got a spot you can jump across. I really want to get to the middle. Looks like it's going to be pretty quiet with the five hook. Right, we'll try a bit further down here again. And maybe I'll switch it up with some float fishing. Let's try this direction here. Try different spots. It's supposed to be their preferred bait, and it's supposed to be the hook size that gets you the silvers and up. That's the theory, anyways. Lots of fish jumping, not too many biting. They must all be too small. We didn't actually check what time of day it was. How are we doing there? I think they like when it's nice and sunny out, right? Well, it's four o'clock. Sun's not quite right up there, is it? Where is it? I guess it's over there, <laughs> where it's brightest. Right, can we throw it over here? 31 meters, as far as I can get it. I 
Hey, Summer. How are you? Just trying to get a large mouth of gold. Experimenting at the same time. Ah, oh, good to hear, Summer. Do you, uh, do you do much of the angler here? I might have to switch up my setup a little bit. Even though this should be the correct setup for what I'm aiming for. Oh, see, I've left the little area. See, it marks it, right? So, I kind of have to stay in it. It really says I should be over here. Heave a big throw. Always nice to play the angler though. Sitting here listening to the nice sounds in the background. Nice and relaxing. But I might be switching to float fishing just because it's my favorite. And put some minnows on here, maybe play with a couple different hook sizes, see what we get. Popper's just not that popping at the moment. Not that popping at all. I mean, I think the indicator wants me casting from here. Is what I think they were doing. What they were doing when they put that marker there. Maybe through the lily pads if I can throw far enough. It just kind of lands right in the middle. Maybe I'll have to take a look at the at the fancy guide to the reserve here to make sure I got the setup right. I'm pretty sure I did though. Might have to go to a smaller hook. Just so we start catching something. Let's go a little bit to the side. And keep jigging the popper. I keep saying jigging, switching, twitching the popper. do is I'll load up the little guide thingy just to make sure I am got it right. This is the spot. This is the preferred lure. I think I just can't get it cast out there far enough where I want it. This life is so peaceful. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> That's uh yeah, I get that a lot, but that is my intention, it to be peaceful. Um, <laughs> I've been watching some of the angler. I like KP Shimino stuff. He does the science stuff like I do. And he's nice and calm too. <laughs> but I watch some of the live streams of it and I'm like, oh my goodness. It's, it's like party time fishing. <laughs> there's, um, there's too many people talking. <laughs> Anyways, it's supposed to be calm. Uh, let's see what I brought with me though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to my float fishing. I, like I don't think I brought anything really, so I'm just gonna go back and reset. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's kind of do a little bit of quick reset on the equipment. Uh, where are we? Back to back to our favorite store. Rods. We sell them. Welcome to Taylor's Tackles. One rod yep. on the rocks. Alright, so I'm mainly just using this rod. Um, light power. I wanted to try the fast action for a little bit. 
It's got a good length and everything like that, and it's perfectly strong, so I don't, I'm not going to change any of that out. Um, I bring all my reels with me, because I find uh, messing around with the different reels is actually uh, the best way to get a good fish fight. So I actually bring all them with me. Uh, the lines, I just stick with the monofilament right now to keep it simple, and I am in kilograms, so I, I just leave the half kilograms back. I don't, I don't need to do it in halves. Uh, so it's just one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. I probably got bigger ones I can buy, but I'm not worried about it for now. And where are the poppers? Right here. I uh, do only got the one popper. Oh, because I only bought the one for that. Uh, let, let's keep it with us. Uh, even though I'm going to be switching to floating, probably. Uh, hooks. This should be good. Actually, let me pop over to the other screen for just a second. Bear with me. I'm going to be loading up a uh, little fancy guide thing to make sure I got this right. I know you can't really see anything at the moment, but I'm just checking the spreadsheet. Uh, largemouth bass. They love the popper. And I'm pretty sure they eat pretty much everything. Yeah, minnow's fine. They don't like the blood worm, though. Alright, so we'll do minnow, and I gotta check the hook size, right? So I got it right, I believe. Largemouth bass. Yeah, hook five is what I'm aiming for. And small mouth bass is one hook smaller. Right, that's why I got the gold. Okay, so five is still okay. All right, I'm gonna minimize that for a minute. Uh, we'll still bring them all because oh, I already got them in, but I forgot I actually put them in there. Okay, so we got the hooks with me. Uh, how much base do I got? I'm probably just gonna be rocking the minnows. Oh, look, I did have stuff with me. Well, that's fine then. Okay, that's fine. Minnows will be the main thing. Any of those? Okay, so I did bring everything. Cool. No problem. It won't take long to get back there anyways. But let's do the setup before I forget. Uh, so we're going to do a float this time. We're going to bring my one little rod. Um, see, I want a good fish fight though. And I've been using the Belta, but it's a bit too strong. Too weak. But I also don't want to lose them. I think the Othello is probably the best for a largemouth gold. This park has problems, or but there the isn't a day yeah, the I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars I'm here. No, oh, even they're pretty heavy. I should be able to do it with, like, the Tyro, actually. Uh, let's go with the Othello, though, just to make sure. I think that's the one I had on it, didn't I? Or, or did it have the belt on it? Let's go with the, uh, the Othello. I don't think I need that strong. Four kilograms is just fine for the line. And we'll throw this on. Now... Oh, see, I don't have a number five hook. That's a problem. Uh, let's... Let's throw the six on just for now with the minnow, and then I'll buy a five. I must have never bought the five. I'll be over here! Uh, hooks. Oh, look at all the ones I can get. I might as well get them all. How much money I got? Five grand, okay. That's no problem. Good. Alright, oh, I lost my chat on the other window here. Alt tab. Uh, where'd the YouTube go? I don't need this window anymore. There we go. Alright. I guess gotta do a little traveling again. So, it is this little lake up here. This is the closest spot. We'll just grab a, another jeep. And go for round two. All right. Yeah, I got all these different colored jeeps now too. I don't know who painted these ones. Man, look at that coloring. <laughs> That's brutal. If I keep leaving and rejoining, it's because it keeps glitching out. And don't worry, it happens with all eyes. Oh, okay. Well, no problem, Summer. 
That's kind of weird that it uh, glitches out on you, but uh, from the streamer side with YouTube, unless I'm missing something, we don't actually get that de much details about who's actually in. Uh, it doesn't really show. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'm missing something. Oh no, I do have. I do see a few things here. Never really played with the buttons too much. But it actually only shows people who are actively chatting. It doesn't show like lurkers or anything like that. Um, yeah, so if, if it shows that it, it, you disappear on my screen, it usually just means that you haven't chatted in a while. I don't actually know if it shows me a better spot or not. But no concern, you do what you need to do. I'll be streaming regardless, even if no one's here, because I know there's a few people that watch offline, and sometimes the videos and streams get quite quite the amount of views, but it all depends on the excitement of the game and stuff, uh, what's going on at the time. So here's where we were. And most come for a Wave of the Hunter content. Uh, but Wave of the Hunter is very quiet right now. Everybody's just sort of done their thing, and some are hunting. But even the official Wave of the Hunter Discord's all quiet. I'm just kind of waiting for the roadmap. map. Hey, SOC. <laughs> yep, yeah. we're hunting, hunting fish today. Glad you can swing by. I wasn't sure I was going to uh, actually stream or not. I always do like a last minute thing. Uh, what reel was this? This one looks like a cheap little reel. The Othello. I mean, it's plenty strong. It's actually too strong than what I need. I just don't like the look of it. I, I, I admire the little things. Uh, oh well. This reel looks pretty, pretty old. Alright, so... I hate this rock, though. This rock bothers me, because it made me lose a fish. Let's go over here. See how far I can get this out here. Alright. Tighten, and zoom, and wait. I forget what hook I got on there, though. What did I put on? Six? Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I think you get better sounds when you zoom in, actually. Uh, do you? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting something so soon. So this is small, because I only got 30% on them. Oh, yeah, this isn't even a fish fight. I want good fish fights. What in the world did I get? You're not even fighting. My reel isn't that strong. Oh, it looks like a bass. A silver smallmouth, okay. So how big is he? Only like a kilogram? See, I'm, I'm definitely coming overpowered here. But I keep thinking... Oh, that, that wasn't even a fish fight. Okay. Hold on. The key is the reel for a good fish fight. So what did I say? Six for silver. Let's go seven. Just to see what else is out there. I think it's just all bass, right? And then the reel is too strong, though. Even the fellow's too strong. You don't need much on these. We're probably going to end up going with... Uh, Uh, what's that? The Kyra? The Kyria? You know what? This will probably do a pretty good fish fight. Because you're getting three and a half pounds. Let's just do it for fun. Throw that on there. If you're wondering why it's imbalanced, I don't know, it's a lot to explain. But you'll see. <laughs> if I get, if I actually get a good fish fight going, like a decent fish. So we'll do seven. We'll do minnows. We'll throw it out there again. Uh, 
We've been trying to get the gold sunfish for the past five days. Still only silvers, 10 in a row. Oh, oh the green sunfish? I don't know if I got a gold one of those or not. Uh, I, I was trying to target them, I think. No, what I, I went for the black crappie. Oh, is it the um, KP Shimino I was aiming for, right? And I was trying one of those one of those spots. Yeah, so here, here, the line, yeah, but not for the fish fight. Like, if you want a good, like, amount to play, I'll try and show you here. Because here's, here's a good one. So he's pulling the line. And you can watch it. You can actually see how hard they're pulling. And I get a lot more flexibility with the drag percentage. See how he's just pulling it a little bit? You can really control him. See, he's pulling it there. And I can stop him if I want to. There's the stop. And see how I'm sitting at 60%? Oh, he's pulling a little bit more. But you can really, like, control them this way. See, now he's going to... Oh, there he's pulling again. And you can really uh, watch the reel and learn how the reel operates when you don't have it overkill on the drag. It's actually kind of hard to explain. The line is the overall tension, of course, the thing that can't break. The reel and the rod are what operates how that tension fills up the circle. So it's getting that balance. See how I can slowly drag him in. Now he's tired. And now he gets a second win. He's pulling. I'm going to have to go to 90%. Most setups, when you try and balance them, you can never go this high or you'll just break the line. Because the reel and the rod together are over the tension that the line can handle. But in this case... I can only break the line. Look where the... See the reel struggling there? That's when it max at its strength level. But the only time I lose a fish, or can break the line, is on a spool. When he, when he spools me, that's it. I think... Uh, uh, I don't see any reason to break a line before being spooled. But it happens all the time... Uh, when people are really cranking that, when the reel is just too overpowered for the line. If this is making any sense. It's kind of hard to explain. But this is where I find the most fun is getting the getting the fish fight down. See, I'm sitting at 90%. I'm winning sometimes. He's pulling out in the other ones. And I usually leave the rod up because it... You can't see it because you can't look up, but the rod's bending, right? So it adds its own tension to the line. And then you can see where the, the, the reel struggles there. Like it actually can't reel because it hits its actual strength. You'll see a, a setting, right? Max strength and then max max strength and max drag. That's where it hits its max strength right there. So this, in my opinion, is the balance setup for this fish. Whatever I got on there because it's a one and a half kilogram, so it's about a three pound fish. And I find that... Um, that in this game, the fish, since it's an arcade one, the fish never fight with more weight than they have. Like normally, it'd be the fish weight plus its strength swimming against it. But in this game, I find they never uh, they never fight any harder than the actual weight they have. So he's about a he's going to be about a a three pound fish. I see I'm at 90% and it's about a three pound reel. Where if I had put an eight pound reel on, which is what the line is, <laughs> then I, I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to go over, well I would have been, I would have had them in by now, right? Uh, but I don't find it as fun just manhandling them in. I like to try and set everything for the actual weight of the fish that I'm, that I'm aiming for. So you, you get a good fight out of anything. Now, you can lose a fish, of course, <laughs> doing this, because they're too big. But I only lose them if they spool me. I won't lose them in the most most cases. 
See, I'm at 90% and I'm at 95. Drag, I won't, uh, my reel can't break the line. And you can't break the rod or reel in this game, so you can kind of mess around with it there. So, so there, he's just struggling there. See how the reel won't turn? So there. So he should be the appropriate weight of what I was aiming for. He should be about three kilograms. Or, sorry, uh, three pounds. If I can get him out of here. Yay, the one I wanted. There you go, 2.78 kilograms. So it's about three kilograms. Uh, and the reel was 1.5. There we go. Oh, sorry. I got that wrong because I said three pounds, right? So he was much larger than I thought I had on the line. So he would have been five pounds. More than five pounds. Six pounds. Huh. That was surprisingly effective on a one and a half kilogram <laughs> on a three pound reel. <laughs> but see what I mean? They don't seem to fight with any more force than uh, their weight is. Because he should have he should have spooled me, like if it if it took that into account. Anyways, that's the gold I needed. Uh, let's release him. Good fish fight though. That's why I use a lighter reel. Yay! I gotta catch up in chat. I know I know you guys have been talking. <laughs> I just <laughs> too focused. Ooh, 35 reputation. Cool. All right, let me check on the chat here. Uh. My level 82 yet? <laughs> I am 21. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. I haven't played playing that much. Let's try to get you to the 10 people on this. Let's try to get you to 10 people on this stream. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, normally I have more than 10, but that's I mean it all depends on how active the, the game currently is and uh, what day I'm doing it on. And I I don't normally announce my myself there. Hello, Slum Crumb. I was gonna say, I see what you're talking about. I do that too, but I like the fight keeping the red over at 50%. I use both methods. Balance is good. Yep. Yeah, whatever's most fun, right? Um, I like that one there, but you have you have to sort of, you know, you you don't want to really get spooled, so you kind of do your best guess. But I was surprised at uh, at a one and a half kilogram. So basically a three pound, and he was almost six pounds. Hmm. But that's how that, that's basically how it works, is um, the reel will take three pounds, and then the, the rod itself will add. It's like a cumulative, like it's, it's the reel and the rod versus the line. So it's reel plus rod. And, but it never sh you never can really tell without practicing with a rod how much how much tension the rod is adding onto the line because you can't look up to see the bend and if if you have the line down then you can't really see the reel and then the actual character reels different if it's down than opposed to pulling it up so I find it's easier to manage uh, with the rod up. Uh, but that's what's going on there. When I was doing the fight, you'll see, what was the tension at? About halfway or a third? Um, but I don't know. The rest of it's like with the, with the rod, because how, how's a one and a half kilograms, so a three pound reel pulling in this six pound fish really, right? Um, anyways. Uh, might as well throw another one out here. But that is, uh, that is the fish fighting I like to do. I like to aim for that size. But I figured, uh, I'm kind of surprised it worked though. <laughs> yeah, just a little, little three pound reel. Gold largemouth bass, no problem. Nice little fish fight. Uh, Big Larry, yeah, I don't know what you need uh, to catch those guys. One of these days I'll have to figure it out. Yes, thanks, Summer. It's, it's, it's not actually rare for me to get 10 people, Summer. <laughs> but it's just, it's just a quieter night. Uh, morning, Matt. 
Yeah, people uh, people join my stream. Some in UK, and it's really early in the morning, and it's kind of all over the place. Oh, let's see if anybody else comes here. Now, here's my question: though. I had a mission to catch that largemouth uh, gold bass. Since I was on the mission, did it make sure one was spawned in? Is that the only reason I got him? Oh, and heads up in about probably 10 seconds from you hearing those Googles running more ads. <laughs> heads up on that one. See, now I'm wondering if I only got that gold bass because I was on the mission, right? Because now, what, nothing's here? <laughs> They just make sure to spawn one in for me. Ooh, that might put me over 100 reputation. Then you can buy something fancy, can't you? Like a new hat. I'll have to remember to check that out. Okay, so there's nothing, nothing here. If you're on a mission in the area, it'll spawn it in. All right, so the game's cheating. <laughs> well, that's fine, game. Make me think I know what I'm doing when you just gave me the fish. <laughs> Alright, there's a little fish down there. I don't like those rocks. So I'm leaving this rock again. Alright. Let's just kind of put it out there. Let's go far again. As far as I can. Oh, here comes the little black crappie or something. Eating my minnows. Alright, see, oh, I'm at 90% drag. I definitely don't need that. See, he's not, see, I, <laughs> it's really hard to get a good fish fight out of these little fish. Because you pretty much have to use the the two pound reel you start with. Or is it a one, no, it's a one kilogram reel. Sorry to bounce back in the units. Um, I, mostly I can do both units, so I just do it in my head. <laughs> I, I do bounce back and forth, just because these are a little easier, but yeah, see my little three pound reel is just, oh that's not a crappie, that looks like a panfish. Alright, that's fine, silver smallmouth, it's fine by me, way too easy though. But I can't really, I can't reduce my reel, or if I do happen to get a gold, I, I won't be able to get them, so. Won't be able to do anything about that. See, I want to get way out there. Still waiting for that gold sunfish. Lots of silver caught. No gold spawn. Oh, I'm about where you are there, Summer. We're in the same time zone. 11, 11, 30. Hey, Greg. How's it going? So the gold sunfish, where are you trying to get it there, SOC? Was it where KP Shimino was there and I was trying? Because now I want to try and get one. I'm going to have to check and see uh, what size I have. For a green sunfish. I don't think I have time. Well, here. Is it journal? Handbook? Oh, this is where it shows. So I got a bunch of these. I got like three of these by now. I got one of these in the daytime, which was weird. Diamond or uh, sturgeon. Where's the sunfish? Black crappie, I've got a gold one. Ah, uh, see, I don't have a gold sunfish either. Hmm. Anybody coming to my hook? No. It's the mission, Ruby River Range, fish finding, fishing challenge, gold one. Oh, okay, it's one of the ones off the board. Oh! 
All right, who do we got today? Is it gonna be any kind of fight? Let's see. Oh, oh this reel's got the apex on it. I think this is one of their special reels. That's a nice one. Uh, but this guy... He's got nothing. He's basically... Like one kilogram fish. Not even that. Nor what do I got on here? This ain't no fish fight. Come on, I only got this little tiny reel on here. How are you guys so easy to catch? Whoa, good jump. I think it's just all bass, isn't it? So is this just another silver one? Yeah, so basically it's just catch silver smallmouth bass now. Is that what it is now, game? Oh, at least a little fishy. I don't know. Is there a spot to get bigger fish here? Let's go over here. How many tackle boxes? You mean tackle box slots? Don't you just add add slots to it? Here's my tackle box. I can get more. I wanna I wanna be able to carry more reels or no store more. Cause I wanna get everything in the game. Oh yeah, no, I haven't done any of those, the souvenir things. Whoa! I haven't needed any more space, actually. What happens when you buy more storage? Does it just give you one extra square? Or does it give you, like, a whole extra line, or...? Because I got that DLC that gives you six casting reels, and they, they're taking up half the space. I mean, my three pound reel here is just too much for all these fish. I mean, do I have to go back to like the baby Fisher Price prologue reel here to get a fish fight? It's supposed to be a fast action rod, but it's bending really far down. Is that really? Hmm. All right, so basically we're just in silver smallmouth area. Okay, let's try and get something bigger. Okay, back to fancy guide. Don't rip their lips. <laughs> I was trying to see the action on the rod because uh, they, they have incorporated like stuff actually working right in the game, even though it's like arcade. It's supposed to be light power, so bend easy. And then a fast action, so it's just supposed to be at the end. But it's not super fast, but that was like, the rod was bending way too much for a fast action, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe. Like what, how, like it was bending like a slow rod. Yeah, it's just me. Uh, I'm going back to my guide for a second. Because, uh, what, uh, what size hook do I need to change to here? Because I'm just finding smallmouth bass. So am I on a... S no, okay, I gotta go to six. Okay. Hold on. Switching my thing around. We're going We're going to six. We're going big. Going big and dangerous here. All the way to a six hook with my little three pound reel. We're going wild. Hold tight. It's going to be crazy. There we go. Okay, 
what am I missing here? Too many red deer the last couple days. Granted, too many Atlantic salmon before that. <laughs> Greg just grinding stuff out. That is a lot of red deer stuff you're doing there. But for like for an animal to analyze, you're picking the right one. They put a lot of effort into those red deer. Oh, here we go. That was quick. So this should be a silver at least. Oh, again. Oh, we got a fighter. Look at him pull the line. I'll slow you down, buddy. Oh, no, he's still gonna go. Ah, good, we got a fight. You have to put these small little reels on to get good fights. Look at him take that line out. All right, we're gonna give you 60% now, buddy. There we go, I got you now. Got you now. Oh, oh, ah Oh, second wind. Now, the one thing I've noticed is my fingerless gloves here. My character has way too nice of a thumbnail there to be a fisherman. It should be like all wormy and fish goody and stuff. Alright, so this must be a, a gold. Uh, we're going to have to increase the drag some more. Alright, real, real, real. Maybe pull them around there. Oh, no. Yeah. Alright, 70%. But this is what I mean. I set it up so I can use the full range of the reel. That's how I find the best fish fights are. None of this breaking my line at 30% and 40%. Just the way I find it fun. Whoop. Because normally I would come here and you would just yank the guy out of the water, right? Which you can, because the game's a big grind, so I mean, you don't want to be fighting everything, right? Just show up with a really heavy setup, and, you know, 10 pound setup, and fish your green sunfish or whatever. It'd yank him right out. But uh, I was trying to actually get the diamond yellow perch to do a fight. Because I'm like, you know, if it's a diamond, there should be some fight to it. Uh, but even with the little Fisher Price reel, the little two pound one, it wasn't even putting up much of a fight to that. <laughs> so when they get too small, you don't, you, you don't need anything bigger than the little plastic reel you start with. I like this reel though. I think they put a lot of effort into it since they stamped their little uh, apex symbol on it. And you can usually watch the fish. And you can move move the rod out of the way. Anyways, whoop! There he goes again. Let's roll. Let's lower it and reel. So you get some distance on him here. He's still 90 feet out or so. There, see, nice, more entertaining, still relaxing fish fight. He's still got some risk to it. Because uh, I've had him spit the hook. <laughs> like that happened on the... Yeah, I got a video on the angler set for Monday. When I started the video, I got this uh, fish that I, I don't know what fish was on it. But he was he was like, he kept charging the line. And then I couldn't reel in fast enough to keep tension on it. And he spit the hook. So I haven't had one do that again. Except for that one time. So I don't know which one it was. There he is, clicking away, reel her in. I mean, I could just lock him down. Or just stop his little fights there, because that's all he's got in him. Is he'll just fight a little bit. And then I find that they eventually do tie right out, and then they don't got anything left in him. See, there's this little... That's his little pull, that's all he's got. He's already beat, though. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much... He's pretty much tuckered out. But I find the fishing more fun when I, when I fish this way. Instead of just reeling the whole time and just muscling them all in. But he's, he's just... He's right out of juice. Oh, no, there he goes. He's running. I should 
He should be right there now. I can lift him up. Ah, oh, there we go. A large mouth silver. Oh, I thought it was going to be a gold small mouth. Well, still a pretty good fight. You know, so he's uh, over five pounds. Over five pounds, three pound reel. I got him. All right. Let's throw it back out there and I'll see what you guys are doing in the chat here. Where are we? Ten. Oh, okay, so each tackle box gets 10 more slots. How do I get more storage for my reels and rods and stuff? Do they let you collect everything? I want to collect everything. The one gives another rod set up. The other... Oh, I guess maybe Griggs answered. <laughs> the one gives another rod set up. Oh, I don't care about that. The other type gives 10 extra slots in the tackle box for hooks, lures, and lines. See, I want more storage. Is there a spot, like, in the storage? Or does that just grow on its own? Oh, you gotta go somewhere? No problem. Uh, Columbix is here. What are your thoughts on the angler compared to other fishing sims? Ah, that's a super good question. Uh, so I actually have tried a bunch of them. Wait, is there a fish nibbling on the line? Whoa. Okay. He looked really big. Uh-oh. This isn't good. I'm not going to get this one. <laughs> this guy's he's, he's going for it. Uh-oh. Well, we're we're going to have to... Th this guy's beyond my reel. <laughs> this, is the, this is the downside to doing this. Oh no, I'm at 95%. I don't know how much line I got on here. Oh! Oh no, he's, he's gonna crush it. Oh see, now I wanna know who I got on here. I can't stop him. 100%? Yeah, 100% locks. Oh! Oh, he spooled me. There it is. 63 meters is what I got on here. He's got me beat. No, he, he's crushing me. Come on, my... Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> okay, we're going to change up the reel, because I think you can try and get him again. All right, hold on here. All right, buddy. What do we got now? That reel's a bit too small for you. Oh, the Othello, maybe. Othello probably would have put up a good fight. Probably need a bit more than the Tyro for that guy. Belta, maybe. Well, let's make sure we'll get him with the Othello. So the Othello is a slow reel, though. I don't want faster reel. But I don't want to overkill it, either. All right, let's try with a slow reel. Well, I guess the one I'm using is really slow. All right, so it's a bit faster. All right, let's head up again. Got my pretty purple line. Uh, what was I using? Six? Six. I know. All right, see if he's back out there again. Oh, I got this stupid looking reel. All right. Alright. Is that a really purple line? It looks pink. Did I put the right line on? Alright, what, uh, uh, what's going on here? And the old chat. Oh yeah, the thoughts on the fishing thing. Uh, so. I have played Fishing Planet. Ultimate Fishing Simmer, or uh, Simulator. Um, Russian fishing, yeah. So fishing planet, Russian fishing, ultimate fishing simulator. There's another one on Steam that's free to play, which is okay. I can't remember what it's called though. It was actually okay. Uh, in this game, I played fishing planet ever since it came out. I was there day one. Uh, so fishing planet 
has the best like rod and line physics and fish fight kind of physics like the feel for the lines and this atmosphere is really good now rushing fishing four I was never really super great on and I didn't like ultimate fishing so this one believe it or not is like second place after fishing planet the problem with fishing planet is it's uh it can set you backwards right if you don't farm enough on your trip you can lose money and I'm like no I can't I can't be spending time playing a game and then lose money so what happens if I fall asleep while playing fishing planet <laughs> it just the days just keep going and it charges me <laughs> catching in right uh, this one is definitely not a fishing simulator it's an arcade fisher uh, fishing game and it's sort of comparable to like a mobile fishing game however for an arcade fishing game it's definitely the best arcade fishing game out there for sure uh, so if you know what you're getting into like it's an arcade fishing game and is that what that's what you're expecting I mean there isn't a better arcade fishing game out there in my opinion not not modern gaming anyways uh, but it's a different category right fishing simulator is trying to be a sim but it's weird because it's a free-to-play thing well this one sort of embraces the arcade part about it um, anyways that's kind of my opinion on them so fishing planet if you want like the real a good feel on the rods and they have the they have all the different setups and stuff like that right uh, yeah we can do all the uh, uh, the bottom fishing and all that set up all your little stands get little bells dingling they gotta add that to this game uh, I think this guy disappeared Hold on. darn I was hoping the fish stays so you try to get him again I think they do I can't cast very far I wish I could cast further He looked big though. I could see the I could see his tail sticking way out from the from the float. Unfortunately, the reds on the map most people don't like because it's too hard. Yeah, uh, they are one of the best animals in the game, though. I mean, for antlers and everything. Um, yeah, I was hunting mouflon there, and I was getting. Now, when I recorded the mouflon hunt. I started a head cold. I've been having a head cold, so all my patience was already gone. Because when I get tired, I my patience goes. And I was trying to hunt with no patience. But uh, so I, Transylvania is definitely difficult uh, after you've been on Tika Moon for <laughs> too long. I was like, I was spooking the move on. Oh, here we go. See, this guy looks big too. Is it is the same guy? Oh, I'm at 95 percent. Okay, no, 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 no. Look at the tension on this guy. So I'm holding him there. So he's winning there. I think this is the same guy. Yeah, because he's winning right there. What a funky reel this is. See, I'm someone that looks at all like the little things. <laughs> Like <laughs> the little details, so I, I I I admire the work they put in to animate the reels and stuff. And once I once I uh, lower the reel down, so I'm not overpowered all the time. Hey, Buckaroo, down on the range if you need me. I find the fish fighting way better. It's quite entertaining. Like they animated that reel really well. I don't really like the reel unless I'm actually using it here. I didn't like the. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I'm gonna beat this guy because I'm only at 50%. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you spit in my hook. Okay, maybe it's not the same guy. 
But I guess the real is twice the power, so... Where is he here? And I do like that you... I wish you could move your head around more and look. But I do like that you can do this. Kind of get out of the way and try to see... You can watch the reel and the fish at the same time. I see, I do appreciate these things. I don't know why my thumb is so clean, though. I mean, I've been dealing with fish. I shouldn't have this manicured thumb or whatever sticking out. Maybe I should just get real gloves instead of these. What I got there. So he should be right in here now. What did we get? Hey, gold smallmouth? Oh no, they're large. Hey, another gold largemouth. Alright, so I need this kind of reel for this guy. Oh no, he's, he's actually. The reel is a little too powerful for him. 3.39. What was the other one? So he, so we're round up. So 3.4. What was the other gold one? Oops. I like to lose the other one because I remember the other one was harder. Three point four, basically. Oh, this one was even heavier. Right, because this guy gave me some trouble, though. Yeah, so you don't really want to go much less real than the one I'm on. But you don't really want to lose a diamond either, right? So three point... So three kilogram... What am I using? He's only got strength 2.5 with a max drag of 3. Let's keep using this guy, I guess. Alright. Do a little bit more in this spot. Uh, throw that out. I think that was the guy. I'm pretty sure that was the guy. So, it does seem like the game keeps them in. Even if you miss them, you can try again. Which is nice. I appreciate it. Because then I can just change my reel up and then go for them. How long is the stream going to be going? Oh, hey, Summer. Um, 45 more minutes, maybe? I'm sorry I take too long to get back to you, but... Fishing is just so action intense. I can't possibly look away to the chat sometimes. Too exciting. Uh, a friend used to call them Snoopy Poles. What's the Snoopy Pole? I think I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> As you'll see, he says, that's the tackle box. Increase your ability to carry items. Oh! See, I can't even get anything done. These fish are too... Too bitey. Oh, this is going to be a silver. Alright, this one's easy. I'm not going to bother fighting this one. I'll just, just drag him in. You don't stand a chance against the Othello. Oh, never mind. It's night time, I guess. So oh, now the walleye are out. Okay, well, he's just a bronze walleye. Alright. Well, let's just fish walleye for a second. That's the tackle box. Increase your ability to carry items except rods in the backpack. Seems that your storage doesn't seem to run out. I keep buying almost everything. I think I have mastered like 51 or something. Oh, cool. Okay. So the storage goes forever. That's what I was wondering about. Because when I look at my casting... Oh my goodness. All of a sudden we're in a super hot spot. Okay. See, now my stuff's overpowered. I'm aiming for a gold largemouth and now I'm just dragging everything in here. And it's only like a small little reel. Another bronze wall. No, no. We're, 
Well, now we got now our bass are shrinking. But I guess so something changed in the in the time, right? Because the walleye came out, so maybe the maybe the bass shrink. Yeah, six o'clock. It's probably six o'clock, and the game's like, okay, time to change the fish ponds. So that's cool, though, that the if the storage doesn't run out. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, because my uh, I got that free DLC, and it gives you six casting reels, which are completely overpowered. And then, uh, <laughs> but there, it shows it's taking up half the space. So I'm like, oh no, I don't want to have to miss out on something because I'm out of space. Now what do we got here? I'm at 50%. Yeah, doing a little bit of a fight. Oh, look at that. Gee, we can barely turn it. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one's a little bigger. Well, this all of a sudden became like a fast action spot here. There you go, pull them in there. Might just be able to drag them in here. Oh, no, oh, there's a bit of a fight. I'll hold you here and tire you out. So that right there, I'm looking on the little circle. You can see where 50% is right there. But that's not 50% of the reel, that's 50% of the rod in the reel together right there. I wonder if I could break the line if I went to way up on this guy. Can I? Or is he just not strong enough at all? It doesn't matter, really, the fight's done anyways. Alright, come on in, buddy. What do I get here? Oh, well now I'm just pulling these guys up fairly easily. No, they're gold large. Hey, this is cool. Farming gold bass. This is alright. Well, guess what we're going to do. We're going to mark this spot. Right here. Boop. Marker, gold, dingy, label, largemouth bass. The bass lake. Okay, uh, so Summer, you gotta go watch the rest of your stream. Okay, no problem, Summer. Thanks for showing by, or stopping by. Sorry if I missed you there. Oh, what is. <laughs> I gotta stop casting here. Look at this guy go. I can't even see what you guys have been saying. Uh oh. This could be interesting. Oh, I gotta I gotta slow this guy down real fast. Holy smokes, what do I got on here? Here's a here's a fight. Oh no, he's winning. Okay, we we gotta go tougher. I might Oh look, the reel can't turn. He's too out of a fish. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, he's a tough one. I can't even turn the reel. He's got it outmatched. Oh. No, you bugger. Okay, we really got... I, I want to see what this fish is for sure. And I, I my reel is too... Oh, look. We're winning. D oh. oh, yes. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go any farther, and how... I think it's only 60 meters I have, right? Real, real, real. Real in. Oh, don't break the line! Oh, man. Here's a fish fight. Here's a fish fight. 
We're gonna pull it in feet by feet here. No, 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 no. Real, 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 real. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yee. This could take a little bit. Oh. So I got 85% and I can't really go any higher on them. Okay. I am making progress though, but I might break this line since it's... Since it keeps going into that red. Oh no, 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 don't you do that. So here's an opinion I, I need to ask. I was using the fluorocarbon line the most, and I found it it was breaking more than the the um, the mono line here. But the thing says the fluoro is supposed to be tougher. But this the mono line definitely doesn't break as quick. I would think, like, if I had the fluoro on here, I think it would already broke by now. Ah, see, this is perfect. This was a good fish fight. He had me right at the max, because I think I only had 60 meters on. And now he's all tuckered out. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is what makes the game better, in my opinion. Not, not overpowering them. And having a nice little fish fight. Because they did do the fish fight pretty cool. What did I get? Whoa, no, 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 no. No, no, no. He's going to break her right at the end. Oh, you got a big pike? Oh. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's a silver pike. I, here I thought it was going to be a huge bass. All right, so the pike just appear, I guess. All right, that was real tough, though. All right. See, for a second there, I thought it was going to be like a diamond smallmouth or something, or a diamond largemouth or something. So that's kind of disappointing. Still cool, though. So what's that coming at? Uh, almost 10 pounds, 9-something? Right? And then, uh, let's go 9-pounder. And then, what reel did I... What's the reel again? Yeah, see, he's only got a strength at 2.5, so 5 pounds. And then it's like a, almost a 7 pound. Alright. No, that's right. That's right, that was a good fight. I like that one. Okay, I gotta catch up by the thing here. Just a second here. I want to... Uh, that's an older style spinning reel where the spool moves up and down. Most nowadays, gears move. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like looking like an old kind of antique kind of... Uh, Real. I kind of like it more now. I didn't like it at the start, but when when I'm watching how they animated it, I kind of like it. But it does. You definitely get a feel that like it's like an old one. Forty-five bumble minutes translates to two hours and fifteen minutes for the rest of us, which is what makes them. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, <coughs> let me check on the time. An hour and a half. All right, I'm not going over two hours though. There's 30 minutes left. That's that's my goal. You, you make a good point, though, Greg. Tackle box equals storage. No, no, doesn't tackle box equal this? Right here. This is a tackle box, right? Backpack tackle box. But when you go to the when you go to the shop, you get this plus storage on the other side. And Greg says the storage is unlimited. You may be able to target a species by bait that only the one you want will take. He's like, oh, thanks, Barry. It was uh, quite the pike. A little silver, but I've never really went after them. Hello, Greg number two, or number one, which Greg? I guess you're number two today, because other Greg was here first. Uh, yeah, you, you, can, you can target... Because you see the little chart that I see, obviously, because you're the one that pointed me to it. Uh, the preferred, but I find targeting is really, really hard. Uh, really difficult to do. 
Because, like, right now in these minnows, minnows, everything seems to eat them. Except for the trout, right? Um, yeah, you can, you can sort of try to target. But I mainly float fish. And I try to keep things consistent so I can sort of get a feel. Hey, look at it. Hey, buddy, here's a, here's a minnow for you. Is he just going to go eat it? Oh, no, he went down. Oh, here he is. This is what I also like about the game. You can just see a fish and then throw a minnow on him. And that's it. I do like that part of the game. And just like that. He just like swam up and said hi. And he's a silver walleye. So, at nighttime, walleye and pike come out here. It, it makes it interesting trying to map out these reserves because after 6 o'clock or so, all of a sudden everything changes. So, <clears throat> it's like there's two maps in one. It makes it hard to figure out, especially since I just use minnows all the time because so many things bite it. But I want to get a feel for like what what's in the area. And minnows seem to be really good for that. Same with the blood worms, but some things don't bite the blood worms. And, well, minnow's great because you know, all the hooks fit on it. It suits me fine. <laughs> Greg, number, Greg the second. Most call me much worse than number one or two, so anything is cool. Uh, this reminds me of a game back in the day for the Wii called Fishing Resort. Fishing Resort? This reminds you of a, a Wii game? Oh, the graphics must be better than, than the Wii. But the Wii would have been good for a fishing game, right? Because of the motion control? Oh, what did you learn, SOC? Oh, like the storage thing? I learned something too. I'm taking I'm taking Lewis's word for it. <laughs> Makes sense though. I don't think they'd they would want you to like not collect, I think. Oh, another fishy. I don't have to go anywhere. I I've been here for an hour and a half now, the same spot. But this is a great spot now. Nighttime got way busier. Or the evening, I guess. Not really nighttime. Oh, this guy's not gonna be anything special. Get over here! Oh, well, so we're smallmouth bass. But this is a lot better than farming the bronzes like I was doing. I was just getting bronze sometimes, silver sometimes. The bronze and silvers. Now I'm getting, you know, silver, 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 so that's better. Alright, let's lower our drag a little bit here. You put countless hours into the Wii one? It was an amazing fishing game. Hundreds of fish and lures to use. Maps were all over the world. Deep sea. Oh, that sounds fun. You get to see. Oh, why can't they make a nice, cool fishing game like that? I want hundreds of fish and lures to use. This doesn't have hundreds. Oh, here's another fish. A walleye. Looking big, too. What do we got? All right, we gotta go right to 50% where I was. Yeah, this guy. This guy doesn't stand a chance against the Othello reel here.
See, now I gotta do some science on the rods. Use the same reel and line. This is an okay spot for like the science too, because you can sort of catch the same fish over and over again, and they got a good weight to them, so you can experiment. This might be a this might be a testing spot because it seems really consistent with silver smallmouth bass and stuff. Oh, get over here, buddy! Jumping out of the water. There we go. What do we get? Oh, I got a different angle on that one. He's a fancier silver, I guess. I mean, that is a big walleye. I mean, like if I caught that in real life, I'd be like, what is this prehistoric monster? I mean, he's only a silver. How big do these guys get? He's huge. Look at eyeball on him. More like a part dinosaur. So what's that translate to? Like a seven and a half pounds or something? I need to bring Gokili with me. Seven and a half pounds? And you're only a silver walleye? Okay. Man, I don't see a diamond. You look really big to me. Hey, Noah's. Yeah, we're doing more angling. <laughs> Nintendo had an arcade fishing game called Black Bass. Oh, sounds serious. Link to the wiki. That sort of mimics real life, though. Many game fish move into shallower water at night. For more food sources. Yeah, makes sense. All the fish you caught would go to this massive aquarium you had. Each had its own gimmick and was really fun to look at. See? They made such a good fishing game back then, then. Now all we got is uh, this one. Ah, <laughs> oh, this one's alright. This is pretty good. See what else they do this year and it look at this is a great spot for testing stuff. I don't have to wait very long. It's just one fish after the other one. Oh, this is nothing though, this is just gonna be a small little thing. Vermeer's here. No game can compare to Bass Landing. It had its own fishing rod controller. It was so much fun. I forgot a fish in real time with a real rod controller for forty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound awesome. <laughs> Sitting there with a little plastic reel. A bronze walleye. Get out of here. I'm better than bronze walleye now. Oh, no problem, Noah. Thanks for swinging in. Oh, Google's got some more advertisements running. Probably in about 10 seconds. I'm going to be aiming that one for Barry. Right, here we go. See how long it takes for someone else to find him. I feel I shouldn't have like stayed here in the same spot for two hours, but uh, you can't really learn a spot unless you just kind of fish it over. Oh, I should I should go back to my other spot actually. And, I'll, and see what's biting there at night time. I'll do that quick before we end. 20 minutes left. This is a good spot though. Like It's hard to leave this spot because I feel like it, you know, one of these bites is going to be like a diamond something. I guess I'm just getting silvers though, so maybe it's not a diamond spot. But I think the guide says it is for the bass, but that's during the day probably. This is just gonna be a bronze again. Hmm. 
All right. Back here we go. I have this habit too of uh, tightening the line. And you don't need to do it at all in the game. But in Fishing Planet, you do. It helps to tighten the line. So I do like that part of Fishing Planet. Uh, here's another one. This is crazy. It's wall, I just love this minnow. Hmm. I should maybe increase the hook size. And increase my reel size, probably. What hook do I need for these walleye? Cause I found a walleye spot. Hey, who's down? Who's that fish? Oh, silver walleye, piece of cake. Okay, this spot seems pretty hot. So, I'm gonna go over to the little guide thingy. And just check on, uh, where's my guide? Oh, there it is. So, walleye seem to be here. So, what's the hook sizes for walleye? Oh, yeah. See, to get the gold walleye, I'm going to need to move into the silver range, which is a number five hook. Let's go to a number five hook and see what changes. Oh, I just minimized my thing. Come back here. All right. Nighttime fishing. It's 7.30. We're going to go here. And all we're going to do is do a little change. Just do number five. Oh, maybe we should change the reel, though. Go for the belta and just not get around. it though. The drag's too high. Oh well. Let's just... I've had lots of fish fight. Let's see if we can just catch something big. Alright, number five's out there. Now we got a fancier reel on. Let's get the drag down though because I don't... could get a little wild. It's max drag is... Like 12 pounds or something, and the line's only 8 something, 8.8 .8 or whatever. Look up Bass Landing Controller on Google. It was very well made and even had motion sensor, so you could cast just like a real one. They sold, bring that for real back for the game. For this game. Ah, cool. Alright. Definitely have to look that up. Oh, this could be a slower fishing though. Now that I got my hook one side bigger. Well, it should still get silvers. So if silvers are out there, they should at least have bite. to do at the moment. Yeah, it's crazy how you just change one little thing, one bigger hook size. And now it's just, they're gone. My like, God, uh, that minnow is on a hook too big for me. I can't, I can't do anything about it. No minnow for that fish, I guess. Yep, just one hook size, and the water's dead. 
I have found that though, if you're sitting on a bronze hook size for the fish, you'll get bronze and silver. But you can get gold and diamond, but it's like super rare. But as soon as you move to a silver hook size, then the golds will start appearing more, is what I found. But you lose out on all the bronze. I have found that it, I have done that enough times that it seems to do something. But you also have to have one spawned in, which I don't think I have one spawned in at this part. I mean, there's some back there, bubbling away, but maybe they're too far away. Yeah, they are picky fish, Barry. Picky, picky fish. They need the appropriate hook size. They analyze the hook first. And say, that hook's too big for me. Hey, Arthur. Oh, things are going okay. I'm supposed to be ending the stream in 15 minutes. But, we're doing well. This spot was hopping and action packed. And I made the hook one size bigger and now it's uh now they're just all gone. So what we're gonna do, see so there's a walleye down there. Uh quick retrieve. Okay. See here's another one, right? But he's too small, right? And just park this on top of him. See, there he is. Did he go to it or just swim under it? Oh, look at this. It's like a shark coming into it. Okay, this should be a quick fight. Alright, I, I don't have much drag on him. This is going to be a silver, right? Ooh, a much fancier reel. See, I definitely, I definitely appreciate the reels. What they've done with the reels. All right, up we go. Forty percent. Hold on to them. Well, maybe he's bigger than I think he is. I mean, this is my heavy setup. And it's not even that heavy. This is the heaviest setup I kind of brought. Get over here. I guess I'm only on 40% though. Alright, let's drag up again. 50%. There, now, now he's doomed. I guess they're not really doomed in this game because we just put him back on the water, right? Okay, there we go. No, oh, no, he's still fighting. I can't, I can't secure him. Get over here. There we go. Yeah, silver, okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, he still looks pretty big. I don't think he's as big as the other one. I should have actually activated his emissions. Well, I did complete the one, right? But I didn't actually. Oh, 22. That's fine. No time now to do it. So, see, you can just see them when like, I swim by. Oh no, he came from out there, didn't he? Oh yeah, he did, didn't he? Look at that little guy. Anybody else in the water? Okay, well let's cast out to where that guy was. Have a good night, Bumble. I'm going to bed. Good luck on catching fish. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for stopping by. Red Mirror says, if you're interested in catfishing, a little pond west of Eaton Sheep Trailhead. You can catch cats all day long. Bronze, silver, gold. I've caught 150. Wow. All right, I'm going to check on that. SLC says, going after a free rod and reel on the other map. Maybe a thought for a video for you. Here's a free rod and reel. I do have to try the other map. I haven't tried it yet. I 
I, I, I'm afraid it'll turn into like Way of the Hunter because with now they got like four maps, I really can't focus on the one. Well, I'll have to see if I can find that catfishing spot. I guess catfishing means something else these days, doesn't it? Uh, fishing for a catfish. Location. What in the world do I got here that came in so easy? Oh, is this a sturgeon? Yeah. Well, oh, even these guys are here? These guys are the easiest thing to catch. You made it to 29 last night. Nice. I think that probably the levels slow down, don't they? Hold on. West of Eaton Sheep Trail. I won't, I won't be doing it now. But I can mark where it is. Uh, does it say... Do I have the trail, though? Big Percy. Maybe I haven't gotten eaten sheep. Maybe I haven't eat, eaten enough sheep. Trout's beard. Tight end. Yeah, I think I looked at these ones. Crackling needle. Johnson's rest. Bangkok knock. I must not have eaten sheep. Big Percy. Jagged dewdrop. Something clump. Ah, uh, see, I don't have that one. West side of the map. Above the lake with the dam. West side of the map. One of these, you mean? Well, I don't know which one has the dam. This is how well I know the map. This is one of Greg's spots. This is a waterfall. Or is this like a dam through here? I remember this was a pain to get to. Oh, east. <laughs> <laughs> east side, okay. I'm on the right, right side. What? Uh, I really don't know the east side of the map. Dam is in the bottom right corner. So this is a dam right here. This looks like a dam. So it's above the lake with the dam. Well, this lake's huge. Like up here? This is called Tight End Trail. Didn't I mark this place? Uh oh. Is there a maximum amount of markers you can have? Because I could have swore I marked this little pond. Maybe it's this lake you're going at? I'll have to explore over here. Alright, what are they doing? West of that one? Like one of these? Yum, yum, yum. I'll have to try and unlock eating cheap or whatever it was. Alright, so this was just sturgeon or something out here? Oh, there's a big fat fish going for it. Look at that big fat one. What is that fish? Oh, another walleye? Okay. This guy looks fat. Oh no, maybe not that bad. We'll do a bit of a fish right here. Tire him out a bit. Uh, 
Nah, uh, he ain't, he ain't that fat. I'm winning too easily. Just a silver walleye. I want a gold walleye. Yeah, he's a small silver. Back you go. I couldn't play earlier today because of the storm that we had here. A lost power. Oh no! That's no good. You can send me a screenshot? Uh, how would you send the screenshot? <laughs> I'm usually hanging out in the official way of the Hunter Discord. I mean, just uh, send it on there, I suppose. And then I can check it out. Yeah, I guess that's the easiest way to... to Send something, but only on Discord, really. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, send it. Way of the Hunter. Uh, I'm probably not on there at the moment. Whenever I'm on there. There's no hurry for it, but uh, yeah, if you got that, then I'll, I'll certainly go check it out. Oh, here's a fish coming in here. This is Walleye City right now. And they're all silver. So, much better than... All the bron- oh! He's got some pull on him here. Let's go 50% right off the bat here. Okay, so he's probably another silver, just a bigger silver. Tough one. We'll fight him a bit here. What happens if we go to like a seventy percent drag? Just we'll do the old what everybody else does. Just drag him in. Oh no, he can still beat it at 70%. Look at that tough guy. Aren't you a tough fishy? Well, respect to you. Make my line go into the red. You're just going to be a, what, a three kilogram silver? Oh, that was kind of, you know, jumping out at me. Oh, three and a half kilograms over. I must be making a ton of money tonight, though, with all these. Wait, I hear is somebody else here? Am I hearing somebody else catching a fish? What am I hearing? What's the creaking noise? Are you guys hearing the creaking noise? What's the creaking? That's bugging me. Sounds like I'm reeling in a fish. Oh well. It's a bear run. <laughs> All right, we need a big, big walleye. Yeah, I'm hearing lots of creaking and stuff. You guys don't hear that? Like it sounds like someone should be fishing beside me.
You just hear water? What in the world am I hearing then? Weird. Oh, did I fish them all out here? So how do you cast out way out there? Okay, there's some jumping right over here. Got all the fish. Oh, sure. If you jump right beside it, you look pretty small, though. died down. See, he looked really small. What's that, a little bass? He's too small. I was hoping for a gold walleye. I mean, there's so many of them biting. Can I get to this rock without drowning? We're here to fish, not be fish. No. <laughs> Maybe you can do one of those uh, run jumps. Whoop! Why can't I run? Oh, because the water slows you down. E-jump! Aww, oh, seriously? I went up on this rock. Okay, you just can't do it. That's fine. Just no one can possibly get to that rock. Like, that looks like a spot standing out, stand on it. Oh well, look, there's like little fishies in here. Like right there. There you go. There's a minnow right for you. I see you. Look at see he's coming. You can just spot them and then get them. I don't like fishing around the rocks though. Hey, Buck, I'll be down the they break the line. Outpost in a flash if you need me. See you there. Oh, that was easy. Oh, another silver, lots of XP, good amount of gold doubloons. Have you ever seen the name Armored Plank? It's me. Okay, no problem, Arthur. Okay, send a screenshot of the pond and fishing controller. Okay, cool. Yep, I'll have a look for Vermeer for sure. And I'll have to check out that pond, yep. Oh, look, another one. There, a minnow right on your head. And he turns around. Easiest fish in there is. Look at that. Just throw a minnow right on his head. You stuck on the ground? And he's like stuck. Oh. No, no, no. Come back here. Oh, 
that was two quick silver walleyes for sure. Any other ones? I mean, you can just see them. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do they spawn more in? Or are they just gone now? Like if I throw it out here, is there another one? That's just, does the game just poof them back in again? Look, there's one there. Oh, he's turned around though. So did he just spawn in? Hmm. See, I don't think anyone can really figure that out, right? Without being able to see under the water. On the other map, stairs and towers made by Americans much too narrow. <laughs> okay, I guess I, I definitely, definitely have to try the other map. I'll get distracted though. Yeah, see, so I pulled the two fish out of here and it didn't spawn any more in. So that's cool. But there is another one. Okay. So, I need to see... Look, I can run and jump off of this one. Or not. Oh, look! Oh! Jump! How come I can't jump? How come that didn't work? Can he not... Here we go. Ooh! Oh, he didn't even jump. Platforming fishing game. Near jump. He doesn't even jump out of the rock. Can you jump from the rock? Yeah, okay. I guess I just have to jump earlier. Jump. Okay. There! Haha. <laughs> this is the top secret rock right here. This is the one where all the diamonds are at. Look, there's a little fish right there, and a fish right there. Look, he's coming to see me. There. There's definitely gonna be something here. You haven't figured it out, but it seems that you sometimes get fish after fish. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like KP Shimino's video, he was saying that uh, the game spawns more fish in. So you you catch the small fish and get them out of the way in hopes that a big one spawns in. So maybe, but uh, like right there it didn't spawn any more in. Right here, right? So I don't know. I guess maybe there's spawn points. Hmm. I don't know what to make of it. Any other fishies swimming around? They're all silver though, but that's still cool to be able to constantly farm silver walleye. There, throw a minnow on his head. Oh, he looked at it and turned away. He might, maybe he's too small. Where's this dead man guy? He's catching catfish. Where's he doing it? Oh, oh no, I don't want to add markers. I don't even see where he is, up here? Oh yeah, I was catching catfish up here. I was catching them here. That's, so there's fish here, because there's one right there. But he's probably a bronze, right? So he's going to ignore the hook. He looks bigger, though. I can't tell if he's coming towards it or not. Oh, he is. Okay, there you go. He found it. Oh, no, he just came up for air and then 
All right, so he's a bronze then, I'm assuming. Since he doesn't care about this middle one that's right here. Yeah, okay. If you're a bronze, I don't want you anyways. Okay, so that's a bronze. All right. Secret spot must be out here. There. Oh yeah, jump right by it. Now float at the top. All right. You're too small anyways. Oh, here we go. We're off. Oh, easy one. Well, I guess there isn't a really great big wall on here after all. It's one of those games where you just want to do another cast. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, well, just so happens to be a catfish here. Why not have, this is what I find. If you have these minnows, and you fish long enough in a spot, you end up catching like half the species on the map. Yeah, out there. Quite a range of fish to bear. Yeah, I did the same thing over here. I go to this spot here. Where is it? Right here. See? Diamond perch. Gold black crappie. Silver largemouth. And northern pike. But I've caught the sturgeon here, the channel catfish here, the green sunfish here. Probably smallmouth bass here, a tiger muskie here, yeah, and a channel catfish for sure once. That, so that's me now. You kind of, I don't know, things seem to be everywhere. I don't know. Need to be able to find where all the golds are. This doesn't seem to be the spot. I thought this would be the secret spot. Um, I don't really have a secret spot out here. because I've, I've kind of cast every direction. Maybe this is a secret spot. Try some cheese. <laughs> Well, this isn't really a catfish spot, though. And then I have to... Yeah. There you go. See, there's just, like, one here. He's just hanging around, waiting for minnow.
He's not so bad. There's another one right here. I see you. We are all silver, though. But there was one more that went swimming this way. <laughs> 